Hi Power Appers, welcome back. In the first video of my series, I showed you how to create an interactive map from a shapefile. In the last episode, I showed you how you can color the states by category. And this episode, I will show you how you can color the states by a numerical value. In this video, we won't do much at all in the SVG department, but we need to understand how hex colors work and how we convert a decimal number to a hexadecimal number. Hi guys, this is me from the future. While cutting this video, as you can see in the background, I was asking myself if it could somehow just be possible that you can use RGBA color in uh, SVGs. And yes, yes, you can. So, large parts of this video are pointless. The graphs are nice to look at. So, I leave you a timestamp where you can just skip the part if you like, or you can listen to me talking about converting decimal numbers to hexadecimal numbers. So, we start with a very easy setup. We have a slider that ranges from 0 to 255. And we want to link that value to the opacity of uh, this color, of this violet box. When we do this with RGBA values, then uh, this value tells the alpha value or the opacity of the color. So if we choose 0 0.5, then it's 50% transparent. And we can link that to the slider if we say, I call it slider number dot value divided by 255. Okay, this seems to work. But as you learned last time, we need hex colors for the SVG images. So we got to convert this number to a hex color. I don't want to bore you with the details. As you can see, it works from 00 to FF. You can see the formula right here. I copied this from Laura from Headful of Data. Link is in the description below. And then we can copy this box. And instead of using RGBA value, we will be using the color value command. And the color I used is 742474 and you can see it matches the violet from above but we need to add the opacity and this is the last part right here it's the label hex dot text this is basically what we will be using in our graph we will use this color for the state with the maximum population and then we will be using gradually less opacity for states with smaller populations so let's get back to our map and we will do this step by step in the first step we will um, get the maximum population of all the states we can do this with max for the next step we will calculate for every state um, the decimal opacity between uh, 0 and 255. And what we are doing is calculating population divided by the max maximum population, multiplying it with 255. Nordrhein-Westfalen has the highest population and therefore has a opacity of 255. As I said earlier, SVG images can't work with RGBA values, so we need to convert this number to a hexadecimal value, and we are basically using the same formula as before. And here it is. Thanks again to Laura. Link in the description. Hit this once again and look at the hex values. So the first one should be FF.
if we want to tweak the colors a little bit so probably make this not as dark we could adapt this value to let's say 220 calculate again and see everything has gotten a little lighter and if we want to start with a darker darker value then we can uh, then we can adjust as follows we set a base value of let's say 55 and only multiply by 200 and to wrap it up for today i brought you one more map with the german covid cases and i used a color gradient here so didn't use the opacity but alternated between the green value and the red value you can see uh, i used um, two values here the, the green one is not really going up to 255 um, you have to to try it out to find two nice colors that um, work yeah this is mostly mostly brown but i think this also has lots of potential if you have any more questions or made good use of this please tell me in the comments if you liked the video Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more SVG Power Apps content.